like across the street or in the parking lot, and you can still smell the popcorn coming out of the building. It's a kernel of truth. Oh, yes. No movie is complete without an overpriced tub of popcorn covered in goo. Oh, there's no such thing. Popcorn's the very best part of it. That's half the movie. There's a bit of unpopped history about the tradition. Yeah that still baffles military historian John Provon. Like bread and butter, um, you know, somebody had to bake the bread, but where it came from, uh, that's a good question. I mean, somebody had to do it. Historians believe that during World War II, popcorn traveled overseas with the troops to lend a homey touch to military life. They had these kits, uh, and one of the kits was a movie theater in which they had two 16 millimeter projectors and a big screen, and they could literally out in the middle of the forest put this thing up. Knowing Americans, uh, you know, we probably had the popcorn to go with it. Popcorn followed troops throughout the Pacific and Europe. In turn, GIs introduced it to civilians all over the world. I have to get popcorn. We usually go through about, I would say, 80 to 90 bags. A 1970 song called Popcorn reminds Provon of when the snack popped into European culture. The tune uh, sounds like popcorn popping. Its sound, smell, and taste. It tastes so yummy. Came to Europe with American soldiers and never left. I don't know if it started with popcorn. Uh, we, we definitely have left our mark on German culture. And moviegoers have left their mark <laughs> on somebody's last chore of the night. It's either always on the floor or <laughs> in the sea, so. You could say it's oil in a day's work. Of course it is. Michelle Michael. <laughs> this popcorn. Mannheim, Germany.